Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. If you've been following me on TikTok, you know that I have been working on a very special project in the making. I have been working on a Raising Meat Rabbits 101, and this is video one. So let's hop into it. In episode one of Raising Meat Rabbits 101, I made, wanted to make a very quick crash course on everything you would need in a rabbitry to bring rabbits home. So everything from equipment to cages to food, anything that you could be ready to bring rabbits home. So the first thing to think about when you're raising your rabbits is what are you going to keep them in and how are you going to keep them? Are you going to keep them in singleton cages? Are you going to do a colony? Are you going to keep them in hutches? Whatever you are going to do, research it and find the best thing that works for you. I personally like singleton cages and I really like do more and I really like pet lodge and KW cages. All of them you can either get online or in store at Tractor Supply. The next thing you're going to want to figure out is size. How big do you want your cages, your hutches, your colony to be? When it comes to my cages, if I want to be lazy, I don't want to move my animals around when they kindle, I give my does 36 by 36 inch cages so that they can have their babies grow out with them. You can fit a nesting box in there. And for my bucks, I do a 24 by 24 inch. Now, when it comes to colony raising, it's recommended that you do 10 square foot per animal. After you figure out cages, you're going to have to figure out how you are going to feed and water your rabbits. Are you going to do bottles? Are you going to do bowls? Are you going to do a watering system? If you're going to feed them, are you going to feed them out of J feeders? Are you going to feed them out of coop cups? Are you going to feed them out of bowls? Like, what are you going to do? What is going to be easiest for your rabbitry? How are you going to take care of these guys? Are you also going to free feed or measure feed? And that's something we'll go over here in a second as well. These are the preferred coop cups that I use to feed my rabbits. They hold just over a cup of food, and if you put them up high enough, the rabbits can't dig out of them. They can't tip it over and dump everything, and these are just absolutely fantastic. For my mamas with my litters, I love huge J feeders. That way when the babies are out of their nesting boxes, they are able to all eat out of it and I can just fill it to the top and I don't need to worry about it. During the winter, I just use simple bowls for water. During the summer, I prefer bottles, but I also know a lot of breeder friends who use things like automatic waterers and it works really well for them. The next thing you're going to want to think about are nesting boxes. Do you want to do something like this where it's a wooden nest box, which are harder to clean, but they're better insulated? Or do you want to do something more like a plastic tote that you can use as a nest box that is easier to clean after mom is done with it and easier to sanitize, but can also just be a little more annoying in my opinion. Um, so the problem I have with the plastic ones uh, is you see that, that urine staining up on the left? 
that's because I've had rabbits scratch at it. And even after I've sanitized it, it catches those urine particles and dries funny like that. And they kind of always lurk, look dirty, no matter how much you sanitize them. But they're cheaper than the wood ones. And you can get uh, cat litter boxes uh, from like Walmart or Goodwill. And they're really cheap compared to wood ones. Or you can make your own. Making your own also works. On those same lines, you're going to want to get some kind of bedding to fill your nesting boxes. I like pine shavings, I like straw, and I like grass hay that they can kind of stuff and do what they need to do with. Also, if you're doing something like a hutch or a colony setup, you're going to want bedding anyway to put down to kind of help with the mess and observing, absorbing urine and that kind of thing. The next thing we're going to focus on is rabbit feed. When you're feeding rabbits, the easiest way to do it is to get a complete pellet. Um, what we get is we get the Mana Pro Show and the Mana Pro Grow. They range from 16 to 18% protein. They have everything in it that you would ever need to feed your rabbit. This pellet is the only thing you will technically ever need. You just want to keep it simple. Adding extra on top of it is going to just fr be frustrating and more complicated. Now you're going to hear people say that you need to feed hay. Uh, there are a lot of people who also suggest fruit and veg and that kind of thing. And again, that just complicates things. Um, we only give hay for enrichment purposes and we don't necessarily feed fruit and veg. Um, the reason for that is it can cause things like GI stasis, bloat, it's going to cause more GI problems in your rabbits and again, complicate things. Now, if you are a hay feeder and you want to live by that, I just want to give a little bit of advice just because, you know, something to think about. Instead of loose hay, feed cubed hay. You know, the kind that are made for horses. It's cleaner, it's easier to pick up, and you can control the amounts way easier. Um, it also gives the rabbit something to play and chew with. And they just look like this and we'll just throw this into the cages for them to chew on about two to three times a week. And again, this is a form of enrichment for them. Also great forms of enrichment. So toys, that kind of thing. We love pine cones. Pine cones are great. Um, we like uh, wood chews with little bells on the end and if you get the little cat balls with the bells on them you can get a lot of them for really cheap they really like those and we also get little uh, grass and wood woven, woven balls that the rabbits really like to chew and play with my goat's dumb And then finally, the biggest thing I suggest is having an on-hand first aid kit. Um, this should include antibiotics, syringe, dewormer, disinfectants, nail clippers, and some people really like colloidal silver. Um, I've seen a lot of rabbit breeders use colloidal silver. And then apple cider vinegar. You're gonna see so much apple cider vinegar. It's a probiotic, a lot of people use it. It's nice to have on hand and gas drops. Gas drops are a lifesaver when it comes to bloat and GI stasis.
So I think that's the basic nitty gritty of everything you need. You have food, water, ways to keep it, cages, the kind of food you should use, your nest boxes, things to stuff the nest boxes, and enrichment. Oh, and a first aid kit, can't forget that. But did I miss anything? If you are a breeder, you've raised rabbits, what do you suggest having on hand to raise meat rabbits? But yeah, everybody, that's episode one. What do we think so far? What do you want to see coming up in this series? I would love to hear it. But that's all I have for y'all today, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.